Hi everyone! So I have decided to create a YouTube channel for other moms like me and people who don't really have a lot of time but they want to do something just quick and easy. And people always say to me like, how do you always look done? You've got kids, how do you find time? So my plan today, I'm going to, over the next course of a few videos, I'm going to show you all how to do some things very quickly, easily, so you can get the most bang for your buck, and or I should say most bang for your time. So um, today, I'm going to show you how to quickly curl your hair so you can get kind of a loosey-goosey, natural, but still put together type of look that us moms um, need kind of on a daily basis. So I have to say that this is pretty much one of my go-to looks lately because I have two children and I just don't have the time. So this is basically what I'm starting with. So I thought, let me start with the video like this. So what I'm gonna do is, first I'm gonna talk to you about curling irons. So this curling iron is actually a Marcel iron where it does not have a tip to it. So this is something that you would only use um, as a professional or if you've had practice with it. There's no spring, so the handle is loose, There's, so I have to physically open and close it. But what I wanted to show you is that you can buy these, they're called hot tools. Hot, and the tools is kind of covered up there, and I'll post um, below this video what I use today so that way you know what we did. But this is a one inch curling iron, which means that the diameter is one inch in size. And this is actually the perfect size curling iron for people who have hair that's shoulder length or longer. If your hair is shoulder length or higher, then you might wanna consider using a bigger curling iron to achieve this look. If you use a smaller curling iron on longer hair, it comes out a little bit looser, and that's the idea. So this is a one inch curling iron that I'm gonna use. When um, hot tools are really cheap, they're like 20 to 30 bucks max. So, um, so go get yourself a one inch curling iron, but make sure you get one with a tip on it so you can actually hold the tip. You can't touch this tip. So here we go. So this is how I woke up this morning. I haven't even washed my hair because I'm a mom. I don't have time. I woke up this morning, put the kids in the car, took my son to school, and this is how I came home. So how am I gonna make myself presentable in a short period of time? I'm gonna show you. So yesterday, I had my hair up in a bun, a wet bun, which I'll show y'all how to do that on another video. And that's one of the keys, is that when you're gonna curl your hair, you want it to be dry. And most moms, we don't have time to wash our hair, blow dry it, curl it, it just takes too much time. So it's better to do the curls on your second day or after your hair is kind of naturally dried. So I part my hair here. I used the Aveda paddle brush to brush my hair out. I love this brush because it stimulates the scalp and um, it helps promote hair growth, but it also gets the tangles out real easy so you don't snag or pull your hair. So today we're gonna do long, loose curls. So we're gonna start over here. We're gonna take vertical partings that go straight down the head. So no clips or anything. So as you can see, I just took a part straight down. I'm gonna hold my hair out. I'm gonna hold my curling iron vertical. Vertical and horizontal produce two different looks. Today we're gonna do vertical, which is gonna give us that loose beachy look. I will show you a video um, later where you hold your curling iron horizontal and that will produce a very glamorous 40s look. So today we're doing loosey goosey. Hold your hair out, vertical. I'm using this video as I'm not using a mirror so it's harder to see, so bear with me. Okay, so we're gonna put it in, we're gonna curl it. Now you don't have to worry about the tips getting in because we're going for that loosey, loose beachy look. So don't worry about the tips. Let the tips stick out. Hold that for a few seconds. I'm gonna grab my next vertical section. Same thing. Pull it out, leave the tips out, and then just twist it in. 
no parting, nothing. So I'm gonna grab this chunk of hair here. Big, pretty, pretty big chunk. Sliding the hair in, close it midway, turn, loosen, 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 let the tip stay out, and then roll it back in, keeping your curling iron vertical. And you can touch the outside if you want very lightly to see if the heat has kind of gone through all of the hair. All right, so there. Now I'm gonna do the hair on this side. I'm gonna leave my bangs out for now. Okay, we'll do my bangs last. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take a vertical part and I'm curling this away, I forgot to mention, away from the face, okay? So whatever your curling iron is, you wanna curl it away from the face. So when you're going away from the face, you put the, the one inch barrel away from the face, okay? So we're gonna slide that in, halfway, turn, get it a little tighter, leave the tip out, turn it in. Gather this hair back here. Okay, I'm gonna just grab a chunk of this hair here behind me, drop that. Okay, so look, gather this in your hands. I'm not worrying about brushing or anything. Slide this in, halfway, turn, loose, get it tighter, leave the tips out, twist it in. So this is my last little section right here. So I'm gonna gather that hair. Let this drop. Slide this in, halfway, flip it, then get it tighter, leave the tips out, twist it in. Let that heat up. So if you notice, I did one, two, three on this side, one, two, three on this side. Pretty easy. Now, now I have some layers in my hair, so this is great for people who have layers. If you don't have layers, then you don't necessarily have to do this, but it's good to do even if you don't have layers, just to add a little bit more texture, because as you can see, the texture is low from like here to here. So I wanna add just a little bit of texture from here to here, okay? So now I'm just gonna grab randomly some hair that comes from the top portion of my head. So before I was taking full vertical parts all the way down to my ear, but now I'm just taking little tiny pieces of hair that stop at my temple. Okay, you see that? Same thing, put the barrel away from the face. Vertical, halfway out, twist it in. Leave the tips out and drop it down. And I'm just gonna work my way around. So we're gonna grab some hair from the top here. This is coming from the top part of my head. You wanna keep your elevation very low. If I keep my elevation high and curl, it's gonna give me a lot of volume. But in this effect, I want it low and loose. So I wanna bring this hair down and curl it this way. I'm leaving the tips out. While that's heating up, I'm gonna grab the next piece of hair. Same thing, gather that hair in your hand. If you need to, put your curling iron down. Gather the hair. Halfway out, turn it, leave the tips out, boom. Okay, while that's heating, I'm gonna grab this last little bit right here. Again, top part of the head, just to the temple. Big barrel away from the face. Slide it in. There we go. Boom. Okay, 
Now this is my bang area. So again, so put your, put your curling iron down. If you want to, you could brush the bang area. Again, if I lift it high, I'm gonna get volume. If I lift it low, it's gonna give us a little bit more of a natural look. So let's do it a little bit lower. Barrel away from the face. Twist it. Same thing you do on the rest of the hair, but with the, the front area, the bang part, I like to just have that by itself. Now, this is gonna provide, make it really long and loose. If I wanted to, if I wanted to make it a little bit more volume, then I could even take a small, tiny little part here. Take the little part and lift it up to get volume. Do the same thing, but do it on its own piece. And what that'll do is just give me a little bit more texture. Okay, so that's it. That probably took about eight minutes. So now we're gonna brush. And you're gonna say, why are you brushing all your curls out? Well, you know what? If you brush it, then it will let the curls naturally fall into their its own position. There we go. So, take a little bit of hairspray. I don't know if you can see me here. I'm just gonna move my hair back. Put some spray in, catch those ends. Make sure this looks the way I want it here. A little spray. Boom. Quick, natural curls. In under 10 minutes. Now, this is air control hairspray from Aveda. I am obsessed with this. The reason I like this is because it's not too heavy and it's not very wet, it's dry. So for me, I feel like um, it's still, I can still manipulate my hair, but it, it holds it in place. Um, so you can get this at Aveda, it's called air control. I'll put this at the bottom so you know what it is that I use. All right, so now if I had to do one more thing, you could put your eyebrows on. Finish those eyebrows. Just a little. If you were like me, and you over tweezed and over waxed when you were in high school, then you need one of these puppies. So this is a Clinique Super Fine Liner for Brows. Super fine liner for brows. And this is the soft brown because my eyebrows are brown. Love this thing. So easy to use. All right. Now, all I have left is put a little powder on. Put some lipstick on and go. Lipstick is a whole class on its own. So I'm gonna do that another day because I'm known for red lips and I know everybody wants to know how I do it. So we'll keep that class for another day. But I just wanted to show you guys how to get out of the house looking super cute, not having to worry about washing your hair that morning because we're all moms and we don't have time to take showers in the morning. Showers happen at nap time and showers happen in the evening after the kids go to sleep. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed my first video and I'm really looking forward to helping you guys learn some great tips and tricks in the future. Please comment below if you have any questions or um, I will be posting the products and tools that I use to help you guys you know, achieve this look at home. I wanna make sure that I'm helping you so let me know if you tried this look. Post a picture in the comments so I can applaud you for your efforts and, um, and I'm looking forward to spreading this you know, glam mom, and uh, we are more than just moms around here. Take care. Bye-bye.